Hey guys, it's Dave at HD Trucks and Equip right here in fabulous Henderson, Tennessee. And uh, got kind of some cool little vehicles here for you. We went out to California and we picked up these super, super clean, rust-free trucks. They've been used in the movie studio business and uh, custom built for their applications, but man, they got a lot of cool stuff on them. So this might be a little longer than normal, but I'll try my best to rush along and let keep you uh, informed with all we got here. So this is a 2011 F550, and uh, it's powered by the 6.8 gas V8 motor, automatic transmission, power windows, power door locks. It's just a nice, nice, nice truck. So we have, I think, four of these, various mileage and whatnot. Uh, most of them are 130, 140, something like that. So I'm going to do one video because they're all basically sister trucks outside of a little nick scratch here, whatever, but they're the same trucks. And uh, they're all carrying marathon uh, bodies on them. They are, I believe, uh, we'll call them, uh, we'll call them 12 foot, uh, but they're probably 12 foot, and they just done a lot of stuff to them. So first of all, the Marathon. So if you look at the girth of this here, Marathon is a very, very stout body. And they have little hooks here for tying cargo down on there. The uh, stake bodies, of course, are removable, and these have all been upgraded with the uh, synthetic wood, so you don't have to worry about rotting and all splitting and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, they are removable. There are dual underbody toolboxes, and again, rust-free California, right? No issues there. Uh, there's a box exactly like this on the other side as well. This has kind of a cool thing. I'm going to try to get a picture of this. You see these things right here? There's two of them, okay? In the body of the stake body here, there are some additional areas. There's a hole here. There's a hole in the middle. What you do is you lift those out. You bring one back. You put it in this hole right here, and it makes a full-length ladder rack or whatever you want to put on it. So you end up with one here, and you end up with one there, and of course it matches the one that's uh, the attic that's over the uh, over the cab. So, and when you don't need them, they just store in those little holes up there. Super, super cool little system. There is a headache rack, and there is an attic up on top up there to put things. Now, notice this is not just treated pine. This is hardwood borers. Again, tow down hooks, three on each side. They are prepared for everything with these trucks. So here's something you don't see very often on a truck with a lift gate. That has both a panel hitch with a 2 and 5 16 ball, which you could replace. You could put a different size on there. And it has a receiver hitch on it. And there's the light plug-in right there. And I notice it does have an aftermarket uh, trailer brake controller. And this is a PAL finger setup right here. And I believe it's 2500 I'll take a picture of that and put it on the website. Very cool setup. So, notice how that leveled itself first. So, when you're going to just use it for cargo, obviously you're just going to go like that, right? Now, when you're done, you push the center button and the up. And, oh, looky, looky what that does. It raises up and it locks and becomes a, uh, a tailgate for you. Now, to lower it, you push the center button and you push the down and then that'll lower to wherever you want it so it's a very very cool system when you get done all you do is you just push the up and the down button to raise it up just like any other lift gate such a cool cool system and again you got the tie hooks tires on it are very good I'm gonna let you in on a little secret we just drove this thing 1800 well probably more than that because we came all the way from California probably close to 2000 miles crew cab Ford F550 does a couple of things. That'll go up like that for floor cargo. You can put that back down. See if I can do this with just one hand. And then this you pull forward and that'll go down like that. So both sides. So that's a multi-use type of back seat back there. Of course, six passenger seating. And then you got the 
The other set here, individual back and forth for both seats. You got the fold down armrest here. So if you fold that up, you know how it goes. Fold that up, it becomes a third passenger seating. Super clean, power door locks, power windows. Oh, it's got the uh, running boards on it. Such a nice truck. There's that attic above the cab I was telling you about. Good little place to store extra goodies up there. It's got the turn signals in the mirror. And I think I also saw right there, it says that they're heated mirrors as well. Front tires are good also. We didn't have to do a thing to this truck. Front tow hooks. Good looking truck. Not all banged all up. They got to keep this stuff up pretty good because they're at movie studios and they don't want to have people with uh, horrible looking things on their sets. So there again, crew cab, not showing you anything you haven't seen before except for the fact that they're very clean. Look at the uh, floorboards on that. Not all scratched all up, not all banged all up. Again, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, all that good stuff. This is the shut off for the lift gate on back. Um, let me jump up here. Well, I can tell the radio works, so it's got a, a factory MP3 CD radio, air conditioning is cold, there's your aftermarket trailer brake controller, auxiliary switches if you need to put up some extra stuff, and close the door. This one has 145 on it for miles, very typical, some have 130 something, some have 140 something. Cruise control right there, nice truck. I'm going to assume, yeah, there's your tilt wheel right there, so you got that too. Nice truck. Loaded cab, loaded up, ready to go. It's got the V10 under the hood, so uh, you got plenty of power, and yet you don't have to worry about all the diesel problems with the diff and the, and the hereditary power stroke problems. Super, super trucks. 2011 models, I have three of them. Two of them are in uh, Tennessee right now. The other two are scheduled to be out here probably, oh, I don't know, maybe in another three or four weeks or so. 2011 F550s now, big heavy duty 19.5 GVWs that will actually haul something. If you can use one of those trucks, you give me a call. My cell phone number is 602-510-5444. And as always, I really appreciate you looking. Bye-bye.